The stage is set and the glittering prize awaits one of these two teams. But which one in the 2022 FIFA World Cup final? And we're with you every step of the way. Live coverage here on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's England versus Germany. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford is the keeper. Harry Maguire plays alongside John Stones in central defence. Phil Foden plays with Bukayo Saka on the flanks. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Harry Kane. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer begins in goal. Niklas Süle starts with Antonio Rüdiger in central defence. Leon Goretzka plays alongside Ilkay Gundogan in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And so the match is underway. Henderson, Saka, the room to roam on the wing, will it be Harry Kane, and fired against the crossbar, and a time for calm on the ball, well they've started really brightly here, they were so close to taking the lead, giving it a try, terrific block, Across the byline, a goal kick as a result. Well, Kai Havertz, a gifted, naturally left-footed player who can dominate any game. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him today? Well, Derek, he comes into this game full of confidence because in the last match, he was outstanding. He got his two goals, but his general play made him the best player on the pitch by a long way. Sané. cross and gobbled up by the keeper well, no let up plenty of pressure clean challenge moving into the advanced position it's looking promising and just over the bar really good effort Well, of course, most Englishmen and English women don't remember the last time England appeared in a World Cup final. That was back in the... Kane! Quite simply, an opportunity wasted. Easy for the keeper. Serge Gnabry. And he read it well defensively. Kai Havertz. And that'll be a Germany throw. 
Havertz, can they forge ahead? And brave goalkeeping to deal with the danger. Well, he had to get that right, didn't he? That's good goalkeeping. Oh, lovely ball. Really good timing stop to make sure the threat came to nothing. Now the delivery, and the danger still on. Can he play it in? Well, you have to categorise that as a missed opportunity. Goretzka. And take it away. He won the ball. And that'll be England's throw in. And a chance to whip it in here. The delivery towards the back post. Will it lead to the goal that puts them ahead? Oh, and he didn't miss by very much. Yeah, he adjusted his body so well there. It's a great piece of skill, and it probably deserved the goal. And Bellingham. And it's in! We've just witnessed the first goal of this 2022 World Cup final. One to Sabre. Well, look at the replay here, because they don't come much better than this. He hits it so sweetly. What a goal this is. Well, back underway. And 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Usiala. It's with Gundogan. Havertz. And keeping it out. The corner from Kimmich. Well, very effective goalkeeping to touch it over. Well, another corner. Can they take advantage of this one? Favouring the short one. Zule. Tremendous block. Gets in the way once more. Able to skip past his man. Havertz! Nicely saved. Joshua Kimmich with the corner. Can they hit on the break? Can they keep it going? Disappointing for England to give it away in that manner. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Chance to play it in. Will they get themselves level here? And fine goalkeeping. And over comes the corner. Declan Rice. Saka. And attempting the through ball. That's all they can conjure for now. Out of play. England throw in coming up. Serge Gnabry. Gundogan. Well, the stats confirm it. Germany have been the more dominant team over the last 15 minutes and have been really positive with it. They're creating opportunities and it's surely only a matter of time before they draw level here.
plenty of support here. Not a corner, maybe an opportunity for Germany to equalise. Taken short. Played into the box. It looked as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. That is how to apply the pressure. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. And the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. So the second half underway, with Germany chasing the game. Can they turn this around? Alexander-Arnold. And on to Bellingham. Raum Jamal Musiala Gnabry well able to close down the shot the high press was very much on good move in the making from Germany takes the shot corner given they're going for the short one and they got into that crossing position but dealt with defensively Sterling tremendous interception it was by Gundogan Serge Gnabry this might be ideal for the counter Sané timely intervention Foden attacking possibilities for England oh he's really opened them up here a promising looking attack but comes to nothing in the end Gnabry oh maybe the equaliser oh the equaliser just what they needed and the dream remains very much alive well just look at the defending here the keeper is left totally exposed. It's an easy goal in the end, but well taken. Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. Kimmich, Havertz, and back with Kimmich, Havertz, can he put them in front? Oh, it's in! They're in front here! Now can they stay in front? Well, here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer, but you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post cover for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. So there we have it, 2-1.
number seven, Kai Ambers. Sané. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. Well, nothing he could really do based on the cross. And room now out on the flank. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Kimmich. Leroy Zane. Gnabry. Very quick thinking there. Kane. Phil Foden now. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. Jude Bellingham Rice with it Now what can England do from this position The supporters want to see him have a go Foden Making sure it didn't get past him He's driven in the corner well, when they go in, it looks spectacular. When they don't go in, you know the rest. Yeah, it's a difficult bit of skill. And on this occasion, he got it all wrong. And they will make the change now. Just 10 minutes to go. And forward they go, chasing the game. And he's beaten him here. They couldn't maintain possession. Can they hit on the break? He continues his run. A good and fair challenge. Joshua Kimmich. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Well, this late corner could represent their last chance to equalise. And there's the delivery. Well, not cleared away completely. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Harry Kane! Trophy. It's an open question here. Well, just look at this. It's a good finish and reward for their pressure. They really have controlled this game. running again at 2 all. Serge Gnabry and the electronic board delivers the news two minutes of stoppage time Gnabry really good diving save well the two sides still locked together and a set piece a corner can make all the difference it's still dangerous Gnabry, Goretzka, great save to keep it even. Well, it's a fantastic stop and so important at this stage of the game. And now the delivery, attending to his defensive chores. Well, that's it for the 90 minutes, but this is not over. And two 15-minute periods of extra time to come.
so back in business here the first period of extra time and it might well come down to mental fortitude who wants this more Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. On with the game then. 3-2. What will happen next? Room now out on the flank. And he read it superbly. Trent Alexander Arnold. Henderson. Oh, a good diving save. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, not quite the corner he had in mind. Goalkeeper has it. Being pressed hard. Kane. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Goalkeeper getting in the way. Superb save. And the keeper put to the test, but he comes through it. Well, he's so sharp, isn't he? Great first save and then the recovery. And the pass not quite accurate enough. And a throw in then. Rudiger, that's a very fine piece of tackling. Well, putting it wide from there, a pity really. Leroy Zane. Goretzka has it now. Germany in a position of menace. Goetze moving infield. Pretty simple for the keeper. Sterling. Fruitful looking attack. Kane! And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop him. Well, as you can see again, Sterling plays the perfectly weighted pass beyond the defenders, and Kane does the rest. He hits through the back of the ball with such power. What a great finish that is. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Well, that's it for the first period of extra time. Let's see what the second has in store. Lovely. Well, who is going to come out on top? Let's see if we find out in the second period of extra time. Oh, that's a really good run. It needs an accurate cross. A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Well, opting for the short corner. Another corner conceded. What can they do with this one? Well, they're going for the short one. Goretzka. That is a really disappointing effort. Goodness me. On that occasion, just didn't make the right sort of contact. Should be testing the goalkeeper from that sort of range. Mount. Harry Kane. 
Great vision from Harry Kane. Well, the keeper was called upon and delivered. Well, he's so good in those 1v1 moments, and he's proved it yet again. Over it comes. And not the best clearance. And problem solved for now. Could be a chance to break here. Sterling. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Well, five minutes remaining in this, the second period of extra time. And room now out on the flank. This looks threatening. And a goal to put the final stamp on it. That will do it. Well, here's the replay. What a pass this is from Rashford. And Mount couldn't hit this any better. What a great finish this is. That's an excellent goal. Goal! Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. A deft clearance. And in with a real chance. Promising attack, but his timing was off. Goretzka. On to Gundogan. Well, he really read that brilliantly. And there goes the final whistle. England have won the World Cup for the first time since 1966. And I have to say, Derek, they fully deserve it. England, the world champions! Well, what a scene to witness. After 56 years of hurt, England need feel the pain no more. Well, what a night for the players, the coaching staff, and of course the fans who have roared England on tonight. What a night this is for English football.